Hello, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to scrape Instagram search pages for post links using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So how does this Instagram scraper template I'm about to show you actually work? Well, it works like this. It reads read search terms from a Google Sheet. You can see I've got three examples here, Danish pastry, Danish chairs, and Danish cars. Who would have guessed I like things that are Danish? It will then read one search term at a time. It will open up Instagram, appending that search term to the end of the search string, loading in a set of results. The bot will then scrape the posts that load onto the page, scrolling down the page, collecting as many links as you want. Once it's done, it will write those links to a Google Sheet and then loop through the next search term, repeating the process. Before we go ahead and install the template, you will need a Google Sheet. So get your setup. Here's mine. Basically, I've got two tabs, terms and data. I'm going to write the data into the data tab and in the search terms, in the term sheet, I've got my terms that I want the bot to, to loop through and scrape. Simple as that. Obviously, we're going to need to install the template to configure it. If you found the video on YouTube and you haven't been to the template page yet, go to axiom.ai, look at the top menu bar, look for templates, click on that link, and then you'll find this and many other templates there. If you're already on the template page, you only need to click the button over there or the one up there, and then you can install the template and we can get going configuring the template. And of course, if you haven't created an Axiom account yet, click the button, create the account, and then install the template. Okay, let's install the template. Okay, the fun starts now. Let's quickly configure the bot. We've only got five steps to do, and the bot will be set up and we'll be able to see it in action. I'm going to quickly tab into Instagram because it will help explain the context of the bot as I configure it. I'm going to open up the template. Here it is. Now I just need to configure the steps. I'm going to start with step one, read data from a Google Sheet. Now this step, we need to pass in the Google Sheet we um, made earlier, the one I taught you or showed you how to set up, and I called it Scrape. Now we've got two tabs in that sheet, so I'm going to have to select the sheet name where I've got the search terms, and that was called Terms. And here we can see I've got a preview of them. Awesome. That's how easy that step was to set up. Okay, let's go to the next step. I'm going to collapse that step first. Step two, we've got a loop. And basically what this loop does is um, go through each row of the Google Sheet. So that's why we have a loop step. And inside that loop, we have sub steps. And they're all the steps that are, that are in the loop. If we wanted steps outside of the loop, you add them outside of the loop. Anyway, let's not side, get sidetracked. Okay, let's go through the loop. By the way, we don't need to set anything up in the top of the loop step, click insert data. We don't need to do any of that because it will set itself up as we go through configuring the final steps. Now, the first step we need to do an adjustment to is the, um, or we just need to configure a little bit, is step 2.1, the go to page. This step loads the URL that we want to visit in, and we're loading a very specific URL string. Here you can see it's the Instagram search string, but I've removed the term from the end. Now I want to re-add that term, but I want it to be a term from the Google Sheet. So to do that, I'm going to click Insert Data because I've already got my sheet connected. I can just plug the data from that sheet in, and it's already highlighted column A, and that's exactly the data I want. And you'll notice my loop is now set up. It's going to loop through those rows in column A, changing the search term each time. That's great. That's exactly what I want the bot to do. So I'm going to collapse that step. It's set up now. Step 2.2 should be set up already. We're going to scrape um, 50 links from each page. The selectors should be already set, set. I will show you later how to reselect them if you need to change them. Next, step 2.3. We're basically using the append or merge data step here because what we're doing is we're going to take the search term that we've entered in the go to page and then we're going to append the links we return to that search term and then write them back to the Google Sheet. 
So our first choice in date A, we want to be the Google Sheet. And the second choice in data B, we want to be the scraped data. Now, we haven't got a preview of column B because we haven't made any selections on the page. That's okay, I'm not worried about that. We've got the append mode. We want them to be horizontal columns. We don't want it to be vertically stacked, so horizontal is correct. So that's the append step, step 2.3 set up. We've only got a couple more steps to go and we're almost done and we're ready to see the bot in action. Next up, write data. So this is the important step because we, we want to output our data that we scrape and that we've appended to um, the Google Sheet. So let's select the sheet that we, we made for this exercise, and it was called Scrape, but we need to select a different sheet name because we wanted to write to the data sheet and not over the links. And importantly, data, the data we want to select is the appended data because there we connect both the scrape data and the Google Sheet data. So we, we're going to write the appended data to the Google Sheet. Now, make sure you have the option add to existing on, then the data just continually is written to the sheet. If not, it'll, it'll write over each, each time the bot loops, and you don't want that. Okay, that's step 2.4 set up. One left, let's speed things up a little bit for you. Step 2.5, really easy to set up. Basically, what this step does is to delete the row we just searched and scraped. So when the bot loops round, you can search a new row. Okay, so let's um, select the sheet again, scrape. I'm going to want to remove the search term from the terms sheet name. So that's that part set up. And we're just going to delete one row at a time so we don't need to change anything on first row or last row to delete. And that is it. The bot is set up. Let's see how it runs. Now for the magic. I never get tired of watching Axiom automate the browser and automate, automate my repetitive work. I do do a lot of work in the browser, so I absolutely love browser automation. Okay, so without further ado, let's click run. But before I do that, actually, I'm going to just um, do a test run. So I'm actually going to want to make a quick minor adjustment to how many results we scrape because I don't want to the bot to spend too long. I just want to make sure it's actually getting the links back in my test. So I'm going to get five results for each page and I'm going to limit the bot to actually looping. What we can control in the step one, if I set a first cell and last cell, I can control how many search terms the bot can loop through in one run. So I'm going to do A1 to A2 and just we're just going to do a run through two terms, getting five results from each page for this test. Without further ado, let's click run. Now I'm going to run on the desktop app. I much prefer using the desktop app when I've just set up an axiom and I want to test it, make sure it's getting the data that I want and everything is working correctly. Purely because I can use the Chrome Inspector tool, I can stretch the window out and I can, it's very easy to observe. The crowd, the crowd runner, although very good, is confined into a small space. So we can see the Danish pastry page is loaded. We can see the term has been added into the string. Now, once the page is loaded and been scraped, Axiom should now load the next and we can see Danish chairs. What we should see is also the first search term have been removed. Now, let me just check in the sheet. Had we got any data? There, we can see the data. And Danish chairs has also been written to there. That's pretty cool. So we can see the bot has looped through. And the run has ended. We've got the links to the posts that we want. Now I can go in ahead, do a longer batch run, and I can add more terms to my Google Sheet. So that's pretty awesome. Let me just open up the Axiom quickly. So now that I've done my test, it's all ready to go. I can now set my bot up for a longer run. So how would I do that? Obviously, I'd need a bigger list of search terms. I could then set my last cell to do 50. So I'm going to go through 50 different search terms. And I'm going to change the amount of actual links to a post that I scrape. So then I could do 50 links from each search term. 
Then I just need to click run, leave the bot to fill up the sheet with all that the data that I want, all those posts that I may want to send DMs to, which I can also use Axiom for. So you've seen the magic of browser automation. It's worth noting that you can customize any template you find on Axiom to suit your requirements, your use case, simply by adding, removing steps, building out more functionality. So for example, what could I do with this template? Well, very quickly, I could add another loop step. I could add a sub step in there to go to page, pretty much building on what I've already got. In there, I'm gonna remove, remove the URL. I'm gonna insert data and I'm going to insert the scrape data of the URLs we just got back. That's pretty cool. So now we can loop through those. I'm just gonna add a very simple click. So now I'm gonna loop through those URLs and all I'll do is go to one of the, I'm gonna open it in a new tab just because its appearance is a little bit different there. Then for my link, all I do is select the like, and now I've got a bot that will loop through scraping search pages for links. It will then loop through those links, liking a post. Cool, that's one way you could customize the bot. The world is literally your oyster. It's up to you to decide what you would like to do. So some top tips for this axiom. It's worth bearing in mind that sometimes classes and things we use to select elements on the page change on programs like Instagram. So what sometime you may get an issue with something like step 2.2 where it's not returning any data. All you need to do is click select, then remake your selection. You can see we've got a column. We've chosen the link type, the selector type here to link. Then we've got preview of the links. Let's just say we needed to reset all of that. I would reset it and make sure it's on select link and then just choose a repeating program pattern. So just click on a few of the images, scroll down a little bit. Axiom will work out a, re a repeating pattern. You can see them in the preview, press complete, and that content should now work. Other things you can try, if your data isn't writing into the Google Sheet, make sure you've got the appended data, add to existing, and step 2.3, make sure you've chosen in data A, the Google data from Google Sheets, and data column B, the scrape data. That's it for now. Hopefully you enjoy using Axiom. Remember, we've got great customer service. Do reach out if you get stuck and we'll help you. Thank you.